Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss a numerical on gyroscopic effects on aeroplane. So the question given is that the speed of aeroplane is 240 km per hour and it is turning left and it completes a quarter circle of 60 meter radius that means radius is given which is 60 meter. The mass of the rotary engine and propeller is given as 450 kilogram. Radius of gyration is 320 mm and the speed of engine is 2000 rpm which is clockwise when viewed from rear. This line is very important clockwise when viewed from rear. Whenever we are solving the questions regarding the velocity diagrams, it is very important that where the viewer is placed and what is the sense of rotation of the rotor whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise. So we have to find the gyroscopic couple on aircraft its effect right when it is turning left that is the first part. Second you have to find the effect when it is turning right and third if the engine rotates clockwise from left and right how the effect on aircraft because of the gyroscopic couple will change that we have to find. Now in question we are given mass which is 450 kilogram radius 60 meter radius of gyration is given which is 0.32 meter and the formula for the gyroscopic couple says I omega omega p is the value right which is the angle acceleration torque. So I is the moment of inertia which is mk square we put the value and get the answer. We need omega which is the angular velocity. N is already given so 2 pi n upon 60 gives the value of angular velocity. The linear velocity is given in kilometers per hour which is 240 kilometer per hour. Now whenever we are solving a question we have to ensure that we use single system of units so we convert kilometer per hour into meters per second. Right? Now what is left to calculate is the angular velocity of precision. Now when a body is moving, right, so, the, so this is, this omega is the velocity of spin. Now this change is, the linear change is with velocity v along this circle of radius r. So angular velocity of precision will be v upon r, right. So we get the value, we put the value in formula and we get the answer. Now the second part says that we have to find the effect on the aircraft whenever there is particular turn whether the aircraft is turning left or right. So in first case it is given that the rotor is rotating anti-clockwise right and the viewer is at the rear end. So viewer is here right. For counterclockwise if you apply the right hand screw rule we'll see the vector will go this way so this will be ob will be showing the initial angular velocity when the body is taking the left turn it moves to a new position which is denoted by ab the change is shown by this vector ba right the change the applied couple will be pa now reaction couple will be of course equal and opposite to this couple so it will be a dash b dash now by applying the right hand screw rule if you see the direction of thumb it is this this arrow is showing the direction of the thumb so if you curl your fingers in this direction we see that it is coming the direction the sense of this reactive couple comes out to be anti-clockwise Right? So in case of anti-clockwise motion what happens if we assume the side view this is the nose and this is the tail. Right? So for anti-clockwise view which is we will see what happens that the nose is raised. Right? It goes this way anti-clockwise. So nose is raised and tail is dipped. Right? If we go the opposite of this that means if we go to the right hand side the direction of this reactive couple will be opposite it will be clockwise so what happens it will be this way the tail it will 
rise it will be raised and nose will be depressed right now the next case says for the clockwise spin right so when there is clockwise spin and the viewer is at the front end the viewer is here so when we see clockwise what happens from this end again you use the right hand screw rule the arrow will go the initial angular velocity will be shown in this which is oe now if you are taking a turn if you are taking a left turn so this f dash e dash it shows the reaction couple right now this reaction couple again you apply the right hand screw rule and this reaction couple says that it is going in the clockwise direction so when it is in clockwise direction tail is raised and nose is dipped if you go the reverse which is the right turn what happens the reaction couple is in again you apply the right hand screw rule it is in the counter clockwise direction so nose is raised and tail is dipped thank you